Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I decided to do a little trip report since yesterday I uh, had a little trip, a mushroom trip <laughs> to be exact. I just want to start off by saying that I am not in any way uh, advocating that you should be taking psychedelics or that you should be doing anything that I'm saying in this video. Uh, this is purely educational, just wanted to share my experience and let you guys know what it was like for me. Um, so, like I said, yesterday I decided to take some shrooms. Uh, I took two grams. These are just standard cubes. Um, if you know anything about uh, magic mushrooms, it's just like most of them are just standard uh, psilocybe cubensis, just normal mushrooms, unless you've got a penis envy. Those are like twice as strong, but that is not what I took. So they were just standard cubes. Uh, I decided to do lemon teching. I don't know if any of you have heard of that, but it's a technique on taking the mushrooms where you you first you grind them up. I normally just put them in a like put the mushrooms in a mug and just hammer at them with a uh, a spoon to try to break them up. Um, and then after they're all broken up, I, I try to get them as fine as I can, like nothing bigger than an airsoft BB, just like little chunks. Um, but it's kind of hard with the spoon. But just just get it as fine as you can. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then you soak the, the mushrooms in lemon juice for about 30 minutes. Now, the reason to, that you do this is that uh, because, if, if you know about like the chemicals in the, the mushroom, it's psilocybin is what um, gives you the trip, what gets you high. Um, but actually, technically, psilocybin isn't the thing. It's psilocin, which is what psilocybin breaks down into when it's in your stomach. It's the psilocin that actually gets you high. Um, so... Anyways, the, the lemon juice has the same acidity as your stomach. There's also other things you can use like vinegar, but who would want to use vinegar? Um, <laughs> that actually would taste gross, so you use lemon juice. It's the same acidity as your stomach, and pretty much what it does is it pre-breaks down the mushrooms so that the psilocin is extracted, so that by the, by the time you take them, um, it hits much faster. The, the nausea that is that typically is there when a mushroom trip is coming up is removed. And by much faster, I mean much faster. Like typically when I've taken mushrooms in the past without using the method, it takes around two hours for them to kick in. This makes them take 20 minutes. Another huge benefit is that it doesn't last as long. Um, mushroom trips typically last like six to eight hours, which is a long time. And when you lemon tech it, it normally drops down to more like three to six hours which is much more manageable, much better. And also, it, it, the peak doesn't last as long, but it's stronger. So when you lemon tech, like I said, the come up shorter, the whole duration of the trip shorter, but it's stronger. It kind of just like concentrates it in like a shorter period of time. But it's nice because you can use less and get a, a better high. So I only took two grams, but it felt more like 3.2-ish because of the lemon teching. So anyways, let's start off with the story. So... Uh, this I've never done this before, but I had heard a lot about it, so I decided to do this blindfolded in my bed. I've heard from Terrence McKenna and a couple other sources that it's the best way to do it, and that it's the most, uh, it's the best way to get like a positive, like like to get growth out of the experience. I try not to really, I, I'm I'm not against using them recreationally, but personally, I'm trying to use it for personal development to grow myself and to to become a better person ultimately. So the goal here, I went into this, this mushroom trip with the goal of trying to learn anything I can out of the experience. And specifically, I was trying to see if this certain uh, career choice that I was looking to make um, was a good idea. So I took the mushrooms. I, like I said, I soaked them in lemon juice 30 minutes and then you take it like a shot of the lemon juice and mushroom mixture. And I just sat in my bed for a while and waited for the mushrooms to come on. I started to feel a little tingle in my body. That was the first thing I felt before any visuals, before anything in my head. I started to feel the tingles, the little the little pulses go throughout your body if, if you've ever tried them before. Um, and I decided to put my blindfold on and lay down. And for quite a while, that's that's what I got. It was just these nice pulses going through my body. And then slowly, I started to get a little bit of visuals. Every time I'd get a nice pulse, there was like this 3D landscape of lines that started popping up, very faint. But I could see it. It was like having VR goggles on where you turn your head and it's like it's 3D. It's like it's out there in space, not just flat, like when you close your eyes and think, which was really cool. But it was pretty minor. Like I said, the visuals were pretty minor. And I had this, I had the body feeling start to get a little stronger. And I remember thinking, because this, this was about 40 minutes into it. And like I said, no, well, 30 minutes in. And like I said, it normally kicks in 20 minutes. So <laughs> for some reason, stupid as me thought, oh, this is as high as I'm going to get which is not the case at all. 
So anyway, I laid there and I remember there was a lot of different thoughts coming to my brain. It's kind of hard to to piece it all together because you lose a lot of it when you come out. And also one thing I'm gonna say right now is as a lot of people who have had these experiences know, a lot of this is pretty ineffable, which just means that it's pretty really hard to explain with words, but I'm gonna try my best. So anyways, I, was, I had those feelings coming on and they started to get stronger. And I, it, it, the visuals that I started to get, I, I eventually I started to, I tried, decided to take off the blindfold because it, I wasn't really getting much. Um, I've heard that you get like the most visuals when you have no visual stimulation and it's just all in your mind, but that was not the case for me. It was very minor when I had the blindfold on and I didn't really get much. There was little bits. I definitely saw stuff, but it was very minor. And so I decided to take it off and I just laid there in my bed, kind of with my eyes like mostly closed, just like laying face down in my bed, like arms spread out and it just kept getting stronger. The, the feeling of this warmth rushing through my body and the visual distortion just started to get stronger. And I remember feeling a little uncomfortable because I didn't really expect it to get this strong. Um, and it's, it's a little hard when you have a certain expectation and it's, it starts to get a little bit more than that. But I, I, you know, I know the flight instructions and I just, I just took deep breaths and reminded myself I'm safe, I'm in my bed, I'm okay, just accept it, let it happen, you know, just embrace the experience. And I always just kept repeating that mantra to myself. And slowly I started to get more comfortable with the fact that it was gonna be really intense. Um, and it did get more intense. I, my visual field started really warping. I remember I was laying down on my side, looking at my room. And if you, if you just drew random lines to section off different parts of my room, and then you start collapsing all those sections in on each other, and they, they spiral in on each other, and slowly close into like blackness, like that's how much visuals I was having. It was to the point where I couldn't see, you know? But I mean, it wasn't uncomfortable because I knew I was on mushrooms and I was laying in my bed. I knew I was safe. I knew I had water nearby and I can, bathrooms were right there and I felt safe. So I was just looking and I was like, damn, this is fucking crazy as I watch all these, my whole world, you know, collapse in on itself. Um, and the body feeling was really wonderful. Just like, I felt just like jello, like just sinking, melting into the bed. Um, and I remember looking at my hand and I remember it looked so crazy. It had like these, it looked like abs, like these huge, like six pack abs going up my, my hand. And then as if like I had two huge fingers that also were super muscular, like one going this way, one going that way. And I just remember staring at it like that looks fucking gnarly, just staring at my hand and it was pretty crazy. Um, but like I said, I went into this person, personal development. So I was thinking a lot during this whole time. I remember one thought that was really strong that came to my head was, was my mom. Um, recently I've moved out of my house and my, me and my mom, like towards the end of me being there, we didn't really have the most amazing relationship. Not that we didn't like each other. We really just didn't talk much. We we're kind of just like lived very separate, distant lives. Um, and I was kind of okay with that because I felt that we were really different. And, that we, and But when I was on, on the mushrooms and I started to think about her, I realized that having distance is not going to help us. I realized that like in order to grow this relationship, in order to maintain a strong relationship with my mom, which I want, um, that the last thing I need to do is distance myself, that I need to be close to her, spend more time with her so that I can get to know her more and that maybe we'll find more similarities that I didn't ha know about at first. So that was a really good insight I had. Um, and I ended up, you know, going to have dinner with her today, which was nice. Um, and it, it overall just, it kind of just made me realize the importance of keeping my family relationships tight, um, which was, which was really nice. And then I thought about the career decision I wanted to make. And I had a very nice thought come to my head, like a really crisp thought. Um, that was pretty much like, well, right now, if you were given the choice to continue doing what you're doing the rest of your life or pick this other thing that you know is gonna be more challenging but more rewarding in the end, but you have to pick now, which one would you pick? And I knew that every single time I would pick the one that's harder. And I have that choice, even though I don't have to pick now, I have that choice. So why not just pick the one that I know I would pick anyway? Which was a really nice insight as well because it kind of gave me this relief of knowing like, I know what I need to do. Um, and I, I plan on trusting that intuition and, and following through with it. Um, but it was a lot of it was a lot of that just little thoughts coming to my head as as I was having these crazy visuals, um, and then slowly I started to come down. Like I said, 
the lemon tech reduces the time of the trip this was actually even though it was one of the strongest trips i had it was one of the shortest i had too um i i drank the um the mushrooms at 1 30 and i was almost completely sober by six i was i was completely sober by six but this was at like 4 30. I, I definitely started to feel like i was coming down and i remember I had like my arms laid out and I was just, once I had embraced the um, the fact that it was gonna be a more intense experience, it started to be a lot more enjoyable. You know, it was a lot more of euphoria and nice feelings and enjoying the visuals and the, and the thought processes that I was able to have. But it also was a little stressful because I remember feeling very vulnerable and very, my, my girlfriend went to college recently. I remember missing her a lot and wishing that she could be there. Um, I remember just wishing I had somebody there to, to console me. When you're, when you're in that state, you feel very vulnerable, and it's it's nice to have someone around. So that was one thing I was really missing. But anyways, I remember at 5.30, I decided that I wasn't tripping as much as I was before, and that I was capable of, of getting up and walking around. So I decided to get up and go downstairs to just, uh, just check out my dog and see what he was doing. And uh, unfortunately, he destroyed my PS4 controller while I was up there, which almost fucked up my trip. I saw that PS4 controller and I just felt like this sink in my stomach, like, oh my God, dude, this fucking dog. And I just remember thinking that like, now this is 60, and then as I was starting to panic, I just I had like this nice mindset just come to me that just helped me really relax. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. Like I looked at my dog and I saw how stressed he was and that he was alone down there and he just like, he just didn't know what to do and he was all stressed out. And I felt like this really strong empathy towards him. I just remember I sat down on the floor and I just pet him. He was really stressed at first. And then as I pet him more, he slowly started to calm down more and more. And I just felt like the stress, like leaving him. And so I kept petting him and he really started to calm down. And so I picked him up and I brought him in my room uh, and we just laid down and cuddled together for the rest of the time. And I was still a little upset about the PS4 4 controller, but it didn't feel like this horrible, crazy situation. Like normally I would have blown it out of proportion to be. Uh, it was much more like I was just like you know what it's whatever it's sixty dollars I'm not gonna die you know like I have a savings it's it kind of it sucks but it's a PS4 controller so that happened um, and I, I laid back in my bed and I just uh, I laid there for for the next half hour and then I texted my girlfriend and I was just like I miss you and she called me and she was practicing her saxophone and I was just listening to her play the saxophone. And um, she's been having a horrible time moving up to college because she misses her family, she misses me, she misses her home and all that. Um, and I remember I heard her cough and I remember she had told me earlier that she wasn't feeling good. And I heard her cough and I just remembered I knew how stressed out she was. And just the fact that she was sitting there, even though she was so stressed, even though like I knew she was sick, that she was sitting there playing the saxophone, trying her hardest to practice to get better for this audition, it just like, I had this just awe of how like incredible, incredibly motivated she is. Just like, how are you able to like, I feel like when I have the most minor inconvenience, I'm fucking in my bed doing nothing. And this girl is is working her ass off. And I was just like, it's it was really motivating and, and nice to hear, nice to hear, nice to see. Um, and that was pretty much the end of it. I mean, after that, it just, the effects slowly started to fade away. I remember afterwards, um, it was over, I went out on a walk with my roommate and we smoked a joint and it was the craziest joint experience I've had in quite a while. I've got a pretty big tolerance, so one joint doesn't really do much to me, but still has some lingering psilocybin. So it was like the effects of that and the joint, I was I was floating. I remember my, my fingers were buzzing like crazy, but it was a good experience. Obviously you heard the insights I had it. I was able to take a lot of positives out of it. it. It didn't get too intense to a point where I was really uncomfortable, like only for like 10 minutes. And then I was able to, to reconcile with that. And overall it was a great trip. Um, but at the same time, if you've done mushrooms before, you'll know after you come out of a trip, the last thing you want to do is trip again. So I think it'll be quite a while until I trip again, but I like to keep it as like a twice a year kind of thing. So these are going to be a very once in a while kind of video, but I just thought I'd share this experience. Uh, hopefully it was educational for you. Hopefully it, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it was entertaining or at least something. Maybe you learned something. Um, but I hope you have a good one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.